Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video we will be taking a look at disk management. So if you're not sure what disk management is, it's basically a utility that's built into Windows. So obviously we're using Windows 11 in this video, but what disk management does is it allows you to see your partitions, your drives, and basically anything to do with hard drives and SSD drives and stuff that are in your computer, you can use disk management to manage them. So it's a very handy utility to use within Windows and it's something that you're going to want to know about if you don't already know. So before we get started, I just want to show you a program that I've created called Easy System Utility. So Easy System Utility allows you to do all sorts of things within Windows, such as clear out old junk files and things, and also for software, you can go onto folders and files, you can unlock folders and watermarks to images and things like that. You can also go on the launch tab and you can add files, folders and programs that you want to quickly launch from the system tray. So if you want to help support the program, you can also upgrade to the pro version, which gives you more features. If you do want to check out Easy System Utility, you can do that by clicking on the link that's in the description below. So to open up disk management, all we need to do is open up the start menu and then type in disk and then management. You will see an option that says create and format hard disk partitions. Just go ahead and click on this option. Now, once disk management has opened, you will see a list of lots of random different information. So you might not quite know what all this is. So let's just go through it step by step. So on the left hand side here, we have volume. So this is going to be your partitions and drives. Next, we have layout. You then have the type and then we have the file system. And then you have the status. So if it's healthy and basically other information. So you can see there if I just drag it along. So you can also see what type of drive it is. So if it's your primary partition, if it's a bootable drive, so you can see there my C is a boot, which means it's the drive that has Windows installed onto. You can also see recovery partitions and things like that. Then we have the capacity. So how much space the drive currently has. And then we have the free space. So you can see there on the right hand side, it's going to be slightly lower than the capacity. And then we have the free percentage. So below again, it's the same as above, just a bit more fancy. You can see all the tribes here and basically everything that's going on. And again, like I said at the bottom here, we got my C drive, which is my boot drive. So what we're going to want to do now is look at a few different options that you can do within disk management. So I'm going to use my H drive for the example. So if you right click on a drive, you will now see different options. So we can basically change a drive letter and pass if we want to by clicking on this option and then going on to change and we can then assign a new drive letter. We can also right click and we can go format if we want to format the drive. Just be warned this will remove all the data that's currently on that drive. So make sure you do take it off before doing that. You can also right click on a drive and you can shrink a volume. So you can change the size of the partition and drive space. However, it will not go beyond the point where any files and stuff are on the drive that cannot be moved. So if I was to type in 15, for example, and obviously half the size of that drive, you can see there now um, at the bottom, we have an unallocated, which means that space that I can either extend again by right clicking on the H drive and going extend volume and then extending the drive. So you can see there it's detected how much unallocated there is. I can go next and then just follow it. Or I can create a new partition by right clicking on it and go new simple volume. Go next and then follow the steps and assign a new drive letter and then create another partition. Also we can right click on a partition and we can then also delete a volume. Now, again, just like formatting a volume, you're going to want to ensure that you've taken off all the data before you do this, as it will remove everything. So if you delete a volume, so I'm just going to delete the H and go yes, you can now see that that drive has just, it's all merged the unallocated into one. So that drive, if I was to go onto File Explorer, it will no longer exist. So you can see there, there's currently no H drive. That's because I've completely removed it within disk management. 
Now I could always right click on that unallocated and go new simple and just go next and I can then just create a partition again and you can now see the tribe is there within File Explorer. If you right click on a tribe as well, you can go onto properties and it will then just bring up the information which you can access anyway within File Explorer, but the information also about your drive. So that's what disk management is all about. It basically allows you to manage your drives and your partitions within Windows. It's a very good utility, it's one that I use very often. I have just done some videos as well, which I will be uploading if they're not already, but I will add the links in the description below where I go into the step-by-steps on how to do different things that I showed you in this video. If you did enjoy this video, then click the like button below. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button.